Salt grass, or Disticlus spicata, is a native grass to the Americas, but also exists on many continents including South America and parts of Europe. It is a fibrous, upstanding grass that can be one to one and a half feet tall. It looks like a palm leaf with blades of grass coming off of a central stem. Each leaf is opposite of another and pointed slightly up so that each pair of leaves looks like a V. Saltgrass flowers come in green and purple. They are, they are only a few millimeters in size, but also bunched together like a head of wheat, allowing all the flowers to turn into a small purple head at the top of the grass. These flowers typically bloom during the spring in the main flower season. Saltgrass is able to survive the damaging properties of salty waters in a similar way to alkali heath. They have salt glands that concentrate the salt with minimal water in specialized glands and then sweat out the salt solution called brine onto leaves of the plant. If you have any salt grass in front of you, you will most definitely feel the small and edible salt crystals throughout the plant leaves. This grass removes more numerous quantities of salt than the other salt extracting marsh friends, making it, a, making it useful for collection. This was often done by the native Indian tribes in the area for culinary flavoring. Salt grass is often grazed by cows and horses, which is useful in times of drought. Salt grass will stay green longer than many of its surrounding counterparts and is used as a great it is used as a great location for the wandering skipper butterfly to lay her eggs and grow larvae. The leaves are also used in mo modern pharmaceuticals as a treatment for respiratory allergies.